This is the story of my three week long labor in three minutes. I started having contractions at 35 weeks. We got to the hospital just after midnight. They got me into a labor and delivery room and I was three and a half centimeters dilated and 80% effaced. I stayed on the monitors for an hour and then I got into the bathtub. And man oh man, did that feel good. The nurse came in and got me an hour later and wanted to check me. I was now four centimeters dilated. The contractions were still coming every one to two minutes and they were super painful. So I decided to get on the ball and work through my contractions. An hour later, they decided to give me the steroid shot for the baby's lungs and a pill to stop the contractions, but it didn't work. At this point, I was now five and a half centimeters dilated. After 12 hours of contractions, they finally stopped. We were discharged at noon and told to come back the next day for a second steroid shot. After that admission, I was put on bed rest. The next day, I woke up with contractions. I took a pill that the doctors had prescribed me to stop the contractions, and it still didn't work. We got to the hospital at 3.30. At this point, I had been having contractions for seven hours. I up to the labor and delivery floor, and they immediately got me into a room. They checked me, and I was still five centimeters dilated. Contractions were still one to two minutes apart, and were progressively getting painful. I still had to have the monitors on me because I was still preterm, but I was able to walk around. So I worked through my contractions standing up by the bed. They checked me again at 5.30 p.m. and I was still five centimeters dilated, so I hadn't dilated anymore. But for some reason, I was still having extremely painful contractions. I decided to get into the bathtub at seven o'clock and this is when my contractions started to space out. I actually started to cry because I was just so frustrated. I got out of the tub, they checked me again, I was still 5 centimeters, so they decided to discharge me at 8 o'clock. After that admission, I just couldn't trust my contractions, but I did start having contractions multiple nights for 4 hours at a time. But of course they stopped. I did finally reach 36 weeks and 5 days, and that night I started having contractions. We got to the hospital at 36 weeks and 6 days. I was hoping that they would do something, but unfortunately they couldn't. They got me into a room and I was five and a half centimeters dilated. Contractions were coming every one to two minutes. I got into the bath at 1 a.m. After being in the bath for about 20 minutes, I decided to get out and work my way through my contractions on the ball. I wanted to try and get myself dilated. Unfortunately, it didn't work and about 1.30 a.m. my contractions stopped. They were still coming about every 10 to 15 minutes, but they were spread out and I decided to go home. Exactly one week later, at 37 weeks and five days, I started having contractions. We got to the hospital at 10 p.m. They checked me and I was six centimeters dilated. Contractions were very strong and they were coming about every three to four minutes. I got into the bathtub at 11 and got out 15 minutes later. At 12.30 a.m., my contractions were becoming more painful. Still six centimeters dilated. At 1.45, I was still six centimeters, so they decided to break my water. Eight minutes later, I was nine centimeters. I got into the bath and one contraction later, I got out. I had the urge to push, so I started pushing on my side. Little did any of us know I wasn't fully dilated. I got on my side to get the rest of the cervix out of the way, but that hurt so I got back on my hands and knees. 15 minutes later, I start pushing again, and four pushes later, she was born. She was then able to be skin to skin for an hour, and that is the birth of my beautiful baby girl.